you guys look at these beauties look at these gorgeous bowls I'm out here at 99 cent only getting some Vaseline and tissues due to little dude having had a bout of serious nose issues I'll tell you guys all about in a bit Silly. You feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's look around real quick before they shut us down. <sighs> I probably can't post this because of the music in the background. I like the look of this clock. It's so 1970s office. These are so cute. I thought of buying one in the little black cat and there's some. Little orangey one, or there was a little orangey one for under the kitty's food bowls, but it's just one more thing to vacuum. Nah. I keep seeing other people haul these, and I think they're really cool. But the heck am I going to use them for? Kool Aid. A dual USB nightlight. Oh, that's cute. That's interesting. A laser explore laser light. Huh. Kind of cute. Still too expensive. This is where I got the fuzzballs. They're little blankets. That one's new. That one's really cute. And look at this one. That's so cute. A lot of pet supplies. Y'all know I'm a sock junkie, right? Look at these. You get a triad. Three pairs. What's this? Socks. Then take some. Well, ain't that bougie. I'm tempted to get it just because it's bougie and it looks pretty. Charcoal and pearl mud wash-off mask. Hmm. This takes me back to my mama with her little pond, not pond, her little Noxima tub. My mommy always smelled like Noxima growing up. Wonder if these are as good. If you guys saw my last video, y'all know how happy I was with how delicious these were and I was actually gonna look for some hoping they had some yay not only that my next favorite fruit I gotta have some I'm, I'm the piggy for chapter 11 you know that was so fitting for this year goodness gracious I'm torture from chapter 11 you they got their Halloween is up Those are new. I don't have that for my collection. Oh, these are cool. I didn't see these last time. Little lanterns. Ew, I don't like it. I don't. It's creepalicious. Oh, look at these. These are cute. Hearts and brains. Ew. Look at this, guys. 99 Cent only is stepping up their Halloween game. Really are. Every year it seems like they have more and more really cute decorator stuff. I really like these. I think these are cool. Sorry. Ew. I think I showed you guys these last time. I love this cat. Love the kitty on the books. I have lots of these, but I don't have those. <laughs> Missing a digit. So disgusting. Missing fingertips. Ew. Ooh, look at this werewolf mask peanut. Baby. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's disturbing. What's disturbing? This one with the crossed eyes. With the stitched eyes. Yeah. Ew. Sickness. Those are just clowns. Oh, this is pretty. 
<laughs> Sorry. I know you're disturbed by wearing it, but I wanted to show off how pretty this hat is. I love it. You can take it off now. Yes. <laughs> This cute little Halloween. Oh, sorry. These really pretty little Day of the Dead stuffies. So cute. Look how pretty this little bedazzled gourd is. And there's, what is this one? A little pumpkin. Those are pretty. I can't, I can't remember if I showed these last time, but these are gorgeous. Look at these little iridescent pumpkins. So pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. Did I show these last time? Those are really cute. So cute. Look at the pretty little lanterns. Look at the pretty little birds. So cute. I think my little dude is getting tired. We better get him home. Hola guys. Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's still Wednesday. Um, it's almost bedtime. I'm waiting for little dude to get out of the bath. Um, to try and get some sleep. We have not slept worth a crap. It was a very unexpected kind of Wednesday for us. Um, this is a TMI bloody story. For those of you that don't like to hear about blood and ookies, uh, tune out until you see me pull up something I purchased today because this is a haul. But I'm just so exhausted, you guys, and I know little dude is too. Yesterday around 11 o'clock, I put him to bed usually around 10 or 10.30. 11 o'clock, I hear him puttering around in the bathroom. And I go in there thinking he's up to silliness and just didn't want to go to bed, but he's bleeding his nose is bleeding I'm like oh goodness it's it's nothing uncommon unfortunately he has nosebleeds he he has had nosebleeds for years and they usually hit at the peak heat of summer and at the coldest of cold in winter where they get really bad uh, but he's had them forever he's been medicated he goes to an ENT for it I mean it's just a thing that we have to deal with because he does have allergies um but this nosebleed was different. It wouldn't stop. It would stop for about 10, 15 minutes and then come back. 10, 15 minutes and then come back. And it was like gross. Like I freaked out. And I always freak out because I don't like blood, especially my children's blood. But this was like nonstop. It was soaking through the tissue. We went through a couple squares short of three rolls of toilet paper. That's how bad it was. Uh, around six something, almost seven o'clock, it finally stopped where it just stopped. It didn't come back. Um, usually when they're that bad, he'll pass a clot or two or three and then it'll stop. Uh, with the amount of blood that kept coming out of his nose, I just knew this was going to be a huge one. It was going to be a succession of really big, nasty blood clots, but they wouldn't come out. I could feel them at the back of his throat. He could feel them stuffing up his nostril. I could see them, but we didn't, we never got the big clots out and I think that's why it bled so long because it just wouldn't come out uh poor kid was miserable I kept having to chase down that nasty taste in his throat with apple juice it it was I felt so bad for him and he felt bad for me I'm like no this is what mamas do don't even worry about it he he puts that stress on himself he feels like a burden he feels like he's doing something bad or causing a bad situation whenever he needs help and that's a thing because he doesn't ask for help like he if I hadn't been awake and I hadn't heard him he would have just bled all night because he's done it before I wake up and there's blood all over the sheets there's bloody wads of toilet paper in the bathroom there's drops of blood on the floor in the bathroom there's blood in the sink I mean they're that bad and he does not ask for help that's part of his autism part of his anxiety he doesn't want the the attention he doesn't want the fuss it makes him nervous so Anywho, I'm glad I heard him, but it took forever from about 11 o'clock to almost 7 a.m. of this nonstop mess. Uh, pillowcases, sheets are ruined, pillows are ruined, but finally got it to stop, and I knew 
said it was bad enough he was going to have to go to the doctor. So I was able to get him into his pediatrician who recommended, just like his ENT has, that it may require some cauterization where they go in and burn the little vessels. But I've done research, and even the ENT has said it's not a permanent fix. It's temporary. The vessels will regrow. The vessels will pop open again if the environment is not right. So I'm just like, and the recovery is painful. The recovery is like weeks. I'm like, I can't put them through that if it's just going to be a temporary fix. So we've been doing the sprays and the little uh, gels inside of his nostrils and any histamines and allergy medications for years because he has them this bad. But today was particularly worrisome. Today was way different than ever in all the years that he's had nosebleeds. This one was bad. But um, we got him to his pediatrician. They, I don't need a referral with my insurance, thankfully, but they kind of give them a heads up, especially right now with the situation. Um, they need to know, this is going to be have to be an in-person visit with the ZNT because they need to go look up in the nose. So they kind of gave them the heads up, and I'm waiting for them to call me and tell me when we can be seen. So that's the next step. But that was a really, really busy morning. I let him sleep a little bit. By the time the office opened, his pediatrician's office doesn't open until 9. So I let him sleep, and then I got in there right at 10.45 is the appointment they gave me. So we were done a little bit before 12 and we he didn't want to come home <laughs> we're close to too many things um that he wants to go sneak a peek at and one of them honestly i promise y'all it was him it wasn't me one of them was goodwill and i didn't want to go to goodwill i was sleepy i was tired i was worried about his nose busting open again um i I wanted to get him home. I wanted to go to sleep, but he looked so freaking sad and so pale and so, but still like smiling through it. I'm just like, man, kid, you look like vampire done got a hold of you and you're not wanting to go home. And I'm just like, look, we're going to pass the good. We're going to be in there five, 10 minutes. If your nose starts to act funny, we are leaving. We're not going into the bathroom and trying to figure out we are leaving. He said, okay. So we went in there. Poor thing, he didn't find anything. We didn't find anything, but he didn't want to come home. I, of course, found some things, so I'll show you guys that. Uh, then on the way home, I had to get more of the... Uh, I needed more tissues because we ran out of the box tissues. I only had one and a half boxes of tissues. We went through that before we ended up with the toilet paper. So I'm like, I need more tissues. I need a tissue, and I needed another little um, thing of Vaseline for the inside of his nose. I can get a doctor-recommended or prescription one, but the Vaseline is the same exact thing, and it's cheaper. Heads up for anybody who has nosebleed issues. Vaseline and a Q-tip way cheaper than the stuff that they prescribe it's the same thing uh but i needed more vaseline and the long q-tips just so i could get in there okay uh the little cotton swabby ones tend to leave a little cotton behind so there's some medical grade ones that are a little um the material is different on the tip so it doesn't leave a little cotton residue in their nostril uh so i needed those i knew i was gonna have to go to a couple places so i'm just like okay we're gonna be in and out so we went to the goodwill uh, I knew I could get petroleum jelly, and I could have sworn I'd seen the long Q-tips in the makeup for some reason at 99 and only, so we went there. And um, before we came home, um, we decided to go to uh, Family Dollar because we hadn't been to Family Dollar in a really, really long time, and I needed bread, and I was out of paper plates, and I didn't want to come home and have to wash dishes because I was exhausted. So we ended up going to Family Dollar just because it was the last store before we came home, and I remembered, oh my gosh, we don't have any bread, we don't have any paper plates, and I had to make dinner. So we stopped after and picked up a few things there. But I say all that to say it was a very, very long day. I just got out of an ice cold shower. I love those when I am exhausted. Just perks me up. Uh, and uh, I thought, let me just show you guys a little bit of footage of us at the 99 cent only um, and what we picked up. It's not much by any means, but um, um, let me get started. Okay, I'm going to start off with a few little things that I found at Goodwill. And I'm telling you guys, when I was in there, I was just letting him look at all his toys. And the knickknacks are right next to the toys, so as I'm over here. On the shelves I keep peeking over <laughs> and randomly I'll be like can you hear me yeah he can hear me 
Because I'm sorry. I see all these stories about kids getting napped. Okay, so whatever. But I didn't really go through the whole Goodwill. I was just in this little section. And I found crap in that little section. First thing I found that I absolutely had to have. It was so pretty and it's going to be so nice next to another milk glass container that I have that I planted my little celery in. I planted Cecil the celery in many months ago, many months ago, and it died. So I have the little planter and the design and style is so pretty. And this I think would be really, really nice next to it. I see milk glass all the time at thrift stores and it's all the same old stuff, all the same bases, all the same whatnot, or all they all have the great design on them. This was so different and I thought it was really pretty. It does have kind of a hairline crack. Little I just got out of the shower and I still have blood under my fingernails. I'm sorry, that was gross. But geez, how do murderers do it? How do they get rid of all the DNA and evidence? All day long and a shower and I still have blood under my nails. But anyway, this beauty was only, and I don't know if you can see it, was only $3.99. And I thought a piece this size and weight and quality is so pretty. And it has a marking on the bottom. It has an, a W or an M. Oh, there's a better price. $3.99. I don't know if that's a W or an M. The crack is a lot more pronounced on the bottom. You'll see it. So I'm going to do a little Google and see if that's a W or an M, but I thought it was really pretty for $3.99, so I grabbed that. I found this thing, stainless steel. I don't know if it's for salad. I don't know if it's for flipping meat, for serving meat out of a platter. I don't know, but I thought it was neat. It was $1.99. I found a gazing ball, and I've been wanting a gazing ball. I know, they're so passe. They're so, like, 90s. I don't care. Y'all know I'm trying to do it in my yard, and it was so pretty, but it didn't have a base, uh, and it was $2.99. I thought, that's a good price for a gazing ball. At least I think it's a gazing ball, a 10 blown. You can see where they took it off the thingy. But it's pretty, and it's green. But I was like, I don't have a stand for it. So I put it back, actually, on the way out. There was a bin full of little random things, and this was sitting in it. Um, and I pulled it out, and I thought, you know what? That might work. It didn't have a sticker on it, but they sold it to me for $2.99. And I hope I don't drop it. But look how perfect this is. Isn't that perfect? I could play Fortune Teller at Halloween. I just thought it was really pretty, and it... it, it it worked. The pieces worked. That's that. Okay. So that's all I picked up. I good. Well, like I said, little dude didn't find anything, but he did like looking through everything. Uh, we went to the 99 cent only to pick up the petroleum jelly, and I did find the long swabs, uh, tissue, which I have down here because we're still working on um, toilet paper roll. I found a four, a four for two ninety nine, and I get the four box for four four dollars at Target. So I wasn't at Target, so I went ahead and grabbed the four ninety nine cent only for two ninety nine. I got some raisin cinnamon bagels because I really like these. I like to smear peanut butter on them; they're delicious. I bought two of the little Zatarain's crab oils. This is one of the only ones that I have not reacted to. I've reacted really painfully to other boils. Uh, I don't know what spices they have in them, but the Zatarans I don't react to, and it's spicy and delicious. So I grabbed two of them because I do want to do a little seafood, but I'm going to do it outside where you boil the water in the pot outside over the, I do it over the fire pit. That way the whole house don't smell like hot fish. Um, so I grabbed those. I found these, and I just took them out of the freezer to show you guys. Cheeseburger onion rings, seasoned ground beef, cheddar cheese, and onion in a golden coating. They were from Walmart, and they had them at 99 cents only for $1.99. And I thought those might be stinking good. Dunked in some ranch or something? So they're called Late Night Cravings Keep Frozen. I better hurry up, huh? And I picked up four of the dragon fruit juice drinks. These are so good. And two of the mango, because some of you guys were suggesting that I go ahead and splurge on the uh, dragon fruit mango drink at um, 
Starbucks. And being cheap as always, before I do that, I'm going to look up the recipe and then I'm going to sploosh some dragon fruit and some mango and see what all the big deal is with that combo. But that is everything I picked up at 99 cents only. And then we went to the Family Dollar and I got some light bulbs because the light bulbs in my kitchen ceiling, my kitchen thingy blew out. And I'm not going to use my three-way bulbs on a ceiling fixture. I finally found three-way bulbs, only bought three-way bulbs, and I needed a regular bulb. So I picked these two up, and I'm cheap. These were $3, two for three. <sighs> these were $2 appliance light bulbs because not only did my kitchen one go out, the little one over my exhaust thingy, the little, my hood over my stove went out as well. So I bought one of those. I got some chapstick because little dude apparently is not getting enough Fluids is also playing into his nose, and I noticed that his lips were super, super dry. Um, so I went ahead and got some chap sticky for him, along with these little bottles of water. These are easier for him to drink. He'll drink two and not even flinch, but he won't drink a full bottle. I'm like, you're drinking the same amount, but whatever, whatever floats his boat. I got him the little waters. I mean, we have the water thing over here, but it's just more convenient for him to walk around and sip his water. And he likes it, so I grabbed those two. I did get my paper plates, and I grabbed two of these just to have at the ready, because we are a Kool-Aid family. If y'all don't know, now y'all do. And uh, we go through it so fast, sometimes we want some, and we drain the pitcher. So that's everything. It wasn't new, or, you know, it wasn't a... Oh, no, hold on a second. Let me grab these. I kind of don't think I like this color. The color itself, as a color in general, is beautiful. I love it. This lilac, lavender, whatever. Absolutely gorgeous. But for a nail on my skin tone, I don't I don't think, I don't think it's going to work. But this one was gorgeous. It's the Metal Nail Polish LA Colors Metal Finish. This beautiful red. And as gruesome as my nails still look. I probably don't even need this, but it's this beautiful metallic gray that I thought looked good on my skin tone. But that's everything. And I hear the water just turned off upstairs, so I'm going to bundle him up and uh, get him comfy and pray that that little nose cooperates tonight because we cannot have another night like last night. But that, but that is, is everything. And um, just wanted to say a quick hello and visit with y'all. Because I needed my YouTube family. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all have a great week. And I love y'all bunches. Bye.